cold front rushed through the state. Between 6 and 10 this morning, the storm dumped up to one and a half inches of rain in sections across the two islands, causing minor flooding and a few minor accidents on the roadways. And with the rain, there was wind. The cold front is now in Maui, uh, and uh, there had some reports of wind damage up at Paia town to the little, uh, to the uh, east of Kahului. So it's a very vigorous cold front. The heavy rain forced officials at Honolulu International Airport to divert three planes to Hilo Airport, but the cold front quickly passed over Kauai and Oahu, and skies began clearing up shortly yeah, after noon. By, except for Maui on the Big Island, we still have a threat of heavy showers uh, on both of those islands uh, this afternoon and evening. And the stormy weather forced a light plane to make an emergency landing in Hawaii Kai this morning. The pilot aboard wasn't hurt. Richard Olston was flying his single-engine Cessna from Maui shortly before 8 when he landed near Kuapa Pond. Now here's some home video taken from a nearby apartment of Olston coming down for a landing. And I've been looking for a place to land in case uh, it got real bad. And saw this place on the rifle range over there, but it looked like they were practicing today, so that didn't look like the better choice. He was to land at Honolulu International Airport, but because of poor visibility, he was told by airport officials to circle Coco Head until skies cleared. Bad weather there forced him to land. The plane wasn't damaged in the landing. Olston is an experienced pilot, and he says he came in this morning to do a little Christmas shopping for his wife. And something else made an unexpected landing today, this light pole plane to make an emergency landing in Hawaii Kai this morning. The pilot aboard wasn't hurt. Richard Olston was flying his single-engine Cessna from Maui shortly before 8 when he landed near Kuapa Pond. Now here's some home video taken from a nearby apartment of Olston coming down for a landing. And I'd been looking for a place to land in case uh, it got real bad. I saw this place on the rifle range over there, but it looked like they were practicing today, so that didn't look like the better choice. He was to land at Honolulu International Airport, but because of poor visibility, he was told by airport officials to circle Coco Head until skies cleared. Bad weather there forced him to land. The plane wasn't damaged in the landing. Olston is an experienced pilot, and he says he came in this morning to do a little Christmas shopping for his wife. You need to get a plane off a sliver of land surrounded by water. You say there's no runway? There is a dirt road, but it's crooked. That's the fix the pilot found himself in today. We'll see what happens. Maui. Just another day in the life of Richard Olson. Jerry Drelling, KGMB News, Nightcast. Well, I wonder what does phase him. Kai, don't worry. There are no plans to turn Kuapa Peninsula into an airport. It was a one-time event. Over the weekend, a Maui man had to make a forced landing there. And today he decided it was time to go home. Jerry Drelling was there. Richard Olston of Kihei, Maui knows all about emergency landings. He's had three in the last 18 months. And that's probably why he was able to safely land his Cessna 172 on Kuapa Peninsula Saturday morning. Because the visibility was so bad, I couldn't even see uh, the other side of Hawaii Kai. So I would have just been in total, well, I was actually, for a little while, uh, total IFR conditions. I couldn't see anything. And then I popped out just about, I'd say, 100 feet above the, the roofs of the uh, houses here. So there wasn't time to go anywhere else. En route from Maui to Honolulu International Airport, he was east of Cocoa Head when he realized he couldn't continue. Kuapa Peninsula, which has saved other pilots, was his only option. This afternoon, he received permission from the Federal Aviation Administration to take off from this man-made peninsula. The ground is uh, nice and firm and dry over here, and the other side is still muddy. So the other side would have been a pretty close uh, call, on a, a, a tight on a takeoff. Uh, probably make it, but it, it's really close. So here we got an extra 300 feet uh, to play with, which is really nice. That gives him a 900-foot runway, or in this case, dirt road. Okay, isn't this going to be a little bit dangerous? you got to power up and you got to round a corner, too. Yeah, well, uh, initially, uh, I won't be moving that fast, so I'll get my ground run going as I make, the, make this curve up here, and then there's a few other jogs in it up there and some brush to clear just over the wingtips is, and some rocks, but uh, there's plenty of room. Hard to believe, but for him, it's no big deal. No, he wasn't the least bit nervous, says he's too busy thinking about flying to be scared. Finished his trip to the airport, refueled, and went back to Maui. Just another day in the life of Richard Olston.
Jerry Drelling, KGMB News. No thanks, Dick. I'll walk. And coming up, we're going to...